Yeah, we're gonna wait about two minutes just in case anybody's striving for what you want. There's a straggler. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you're all right. Yeah. funny because I have a friend that was a salesman and he said, if you ever show something 
Never show the actual product. Just do it all PowerPoint because it's going to fail if you do the actual product. But so I'm I'm throwing that out the window, and we're going to actually try to do the Fire TV with our network here. So, but we'll we'll try it out. So right now I'm going to go back to the room, and we're going to go over this presentation over a few different things, and then we'll do some questions, Q and A, and then we'll try the Fire TV. Okay. So, how much are we spending on TV? And this is a little bit of research I did. An average household spends almost $100 a month on cable or satellite. And I know there's probably a lot of people in this room, and they won't admit it, but they're probably spending even more than that. Uh, I know Kenny here, he said he spends $150 bucks on uh, different services. Um, and most people have cable or satellite, but the saturation is 83% of households. Uh, and I'm guessing that most of the channels you never watch. Um, like I remember we, my wife liked the Home and Garden channel, I like it too. So in order to get that, we had to get this special extra package. And then, so you're getting 150 channels, but I'm watching like maybe like eight channels of the 150 channels. You know, and then the, like half of them were music channels, which I never listened to. Does not even include internet, or is that just television? Yeah, that's that's what people are spending on cable or satellite services. That does include internet. Okay. That does include phone. That's what most people, uh, the average, from what I saw on the internet. Of course, you can't always trust everything you see on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but like most people I talk to, though, that have cable or satellite, they spend that much or more. Especially if you watch a couple um, movies that you have to pay for. Um, and the rates are still going to increase this year for satellite and cable. Okay, so these are some some myths I got, and I, and I, I can't take credit for these myths, but I, I got them for the see that website at the bottom there. Um, cutting the cord won't save you any money. That that's false. I, I spend eleven dollars a month is what I spend. I initially I spent about a hundred dollars uh, for my the box I'm using that we'll go over. I spend 11 bucks a month, that's all I spend, versus 100. Um, kind of the court is too technical. I, I now, obviously I'm a technical person, I'm a network manager or, or IT manager, but I really don't think it's very technical. Um, it, it's less technical than setting up satellite, of course obviously you use those services, set up the satellite for you. <coughs> we'll, we'll actually see a video of someone setting one up and what they do, and it's really very, it's like four minute video. So, you know, it, it's not very technical. Now you, you can get technical, you can make anything complicated, depending on how you do it. The other myth, you can't watch sports. Um, that's definitely a myth, and that's kind of a recent thing. For a while, that's been like the one thing that lots of guys are like, well, I can't do it because I gotta have my ESPN, I gotta have this. And um, recently, there's a couple different packages you can get. You will spend money per month. You may spend $20 a month, you may spend $30 a month, but you can get lots of sports content and if you have the right antenna set up, you can watch high quality HD sports, right? You can get Pittsburgh, you can get Cleveland channels, you can watch Browns, you can watch Steelers, watch the Penguins, you can watch them, you know, it's just as good as if you were on satellite. <coughs> now I know sometimes they have blackouts, but you know, what am I gonna do about that? Uh, the other one, you have to become a pirate. Uh, like pirating illegally, you do not have to illegally get content. Um, that's, that's a myth. And we'll talk about that. So, uh, and excuse me, I must go. I'm going to take a break because I do have a, a cold right now, so I don't want to lose my voice. So, this uh, picture here is showing the basic internet streaming setup. So, this is for someone that does have high speed internet at home. Um, you can connect your Fire TV, or it could be a Roku, or it could be an Apple TV. I'm not saying that you have to get Fire TV, that's just what I have, and this was a good picture. So rather than me redoing the picture, I just kind of slapped this in here. So basically you're, you're connecting what's called your HDMI connection to your, um, to your body. Um, then you're setting up an HD antenna, and we'll talk about that, it's really basically any antenna which is fairly simple, and that's the basic setup. And I have a link here, let's see if this link works. 
so we can um, bucks on one or you can spend ten dollars on one get the ten dollar one as long as long enough because there's no difference they're all the same there's no the platinum HDMI cable is no better than the regular basic HDMI cable there's the HDMI jack under HDMI cable slip it in like that look at the connections on the back of your TV locate an available HDMI input plug the other end of that HDMI cable right there. Now an alternative co connection method would be if you have a surround sound receiver or a home theater receiver or an AV, they're, they're all the same thing basically. Plug this HDMI cable into the back of your AVR and then your AVR is plugged into the back of your TV. The next step, take the remote with the batteries in it. It's a pair of AA batteries. The batteries are supplied so the next thing is we want to power up the Roku, which is a power supply that comes with it. We're going to plug it into a wall receptacle and the other end into the Roku. Plug this end into the Roku. Set that to the side. And plug this into a, an electrical receptacle. We're going to turn the television on. Using the source button on the TV remote, we're going to locate the HDMI input. You want to select your language. And then you want to connect to your network. Now, if you have a Wi-Fi network, you can put in your Wi-Fi username and your Wi-Fi password. If you happen to have a uh, router close by, you can plug in your Roku to the router. I'll show you how to do that real quick. If you have your router nearby, you can use an Ethernet patch cord, a Cat5 patch cord like this, and just plug it into this jack. Now, the other end of this wire is not plugged into the router because I don't have the router close by. And this would be an easier way for you to get the Roku onto the Internet because you don't have to enter your internet username and your internet password. But if you don't happen to have this handy, then you want to put in those Wi-Fi credentials. I select the wireless Wi-Fi connection. Move that camera a little bit closer. One, doing that one note about what he just talked about, that, that physical cable, they call it an ethernet cable. If you're able to do that, if your router is near, your cable modem and router is near the TV, I think that's a preferred way uh, to do it. And the reason, one of the things I do is I have a button on my router that shuts off my wireless. And what I do that for is my kids, 11 o'clock at night, I'd say, okay, you're going to sleep. When I hit that button, then the kids, they can't watch things on their phone, they can't watch things on their computers, and I can still watch things on my TV because I have a physical connection instead of an ethernet cable. So if possible, I think that's a preferred method. It's not always possible, obviously. 
Now it lists my Wi-Fi name, and I'm going to select that by hitting the OK button on the remote. <coughs> and then I'm going to put in my password. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill in my name and set up this account. Now there's a code that was on there. Now that when it talks about the credit card, the reason, for example, that product, the Roku 3, is asking for your credit card information is it has content that you can do pay-per-view with, just like you know, the satellite. So it has, and what you can do is you can put a code on that so your kids aren't able to do it, so they're not able to watch movies if you don't want them to. Do. And that's why it's asking for um, a, a credit card on that. Um, mine, the Fire TV does not ask for a credit card because what it does is it links with an Amazon account if you have an Amazon Prime. That's how it handles content that uh, is purchased. But you can still watch a lot of things without you know, spending money. Screen, we need to enter that here. All right, looks like our setup of the actual streaming device is ready. To select OK. And there we have it. We're ready to go. <coughs> okay, so I have this slide and my wife actually, she saw me doing this and she's like, what if, these are the, the methods to get content. You can use the airways, which is antenna based. Um, you can use the internet for internet streaming um, and you can use physical media. Um, and the one thing she pointed out to me, originally I, I just had the airways and the internet. And she's like, what if someone does not have high speed internet access in their house? Um, and that makes, makes things, you're gonna have less access, but there are a lot of ways to get uh, physical media. And we'll talk about that later on. And when I say physical media, I mean um, DVDs, uh, Blu-rays. You can still get those. You can get them for free, for example, from the library, depending on where your local library is and what content they have. Uh, or you can get like a dollar for a movie. OK, <clears throat> over the air, what they call um, OTA. It's actually the highest of the HD quality because there's no compression. When your cable company uh, or your satellite company sends you all those HD channels, they still have to compress before they send it. And you'll see it sometimes in like the gray areas on the screen. You'll see it's not quite the, the, the called the graduation from grays to, to blacks. That's where you'll see it, where if you're going over the air, there is no compression. Um, and antenna selection, uh, for example, the, one of the gentlemen here was talking about a leaf, which is an uh, antenna is probably similar to that one on the left. Is that what it looks like, kind of? Yeah. Yeah, so the, the cheapest one is going to be like an indoor antenna. Um, and you can go to you know, Walmart or Best Buy to get these antennas. Now, it's going to pick up less stations than an on the roof or outside antenna. The two antennas on the right are ones that you have on the roof or outside mounted. Uh, they use a coax cable just like your, your satellite or, or your other companies use you know, to go to your, um, your to your TV. Now I have that one in the middle. That's what I have, and what was kind of I ordered it on Amazon. I think it was like 40 bucks, uh, but I also had to order a mask because I didn't have a mask. The mask is like that pole that it sits on, and it has a little thing that you can actually rotate it. Um, Plus that box, you can actually um, you can actually input two TVs in there, so you can have your, your you can have your one antenna servicing two TVs, um, or you can purchase one separate. Now you notice the one on the right hand side. Now the people that are older like me will know that that's the kind your dad had. He had a big old antenna like that. In all the stores, they talk about HD antennas. Well. Guess what? There's no difference between that old antenna 
um, and an HD viewing pattern. There's no difference because the media hasn't changed that they're sending the signal through. You know what the, the media is? They're sending UHF and VHF through? It's the air. It's the same darn air. So physics doesn't change, so it's still the same medium. So what I'm saying is if you procrastinate it and you still have one of those giant antennas in your house, <laughs> don't take it down. It's like gold. It's ugly as sin, but that thing will pick up more than any other antenna because it's huge. What is the middle that you sell run two? Do you run two at the same time on different channels? Yes, yes, yep. You can hook up two TVs to that one. Um, you can also buy, you can use any of these antennas, you can buy a separate box, I think, to split that out. But that one in the middle, that's on the package deal on Amazon I got, you'll find them if you look up AT antennas. It's funny because they have a whole bunch of names, but they're all coming from the same factory because they look exactly the same. Um, I've had it for, you know, like, Three or four years and it's, it's held up well. I don't know if it's going to hold up, you know, forever, but uh, it, was, it was not expensive. About this big. About, you know, two, three, four years. How tall was the mast? It wasn't high. It was only like uh, the one I got was like that three feet, and I kind of put it on like the side of my house, like kind of on the one peak. Um, so it's it, above the roof line. Well, it, <laughs> I, I don't want to do it. I go on the highest part of the roof line, so it's not above all the roof line, but it is directional. What I did is my wife wanted to get the Cleveland station because she likes to watch the Cleveland news in the morning. I don't know why. Um, so what we did is we could get like Youngstown and Canton, we couldn't get Cleveland. I got that one and I rotated it towards where I thought Cleveland was, and we fooled around until we got. And that's the other thing is, is we'll talk about placement of antennas in a second, but um, she wanted to get Cleveland's. So we kind of rotate it. You guys might not be able to get Cleveland down here. I'll show you how to do this. But if you want that, no. Yeah, but you got a nice time. Okay. And this is my. There's a lot of people now that are making their own antennas. If you see this little device at the bottom, um, you can buy that for like five bucks, and then you can go online. There's all types of uh, plans to make your own. I call them hipster antennas. So if you want to spend, you know, two days making an antenna and save them 30 bucks, it'll work. Did you, have you done that? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so what channels can you get over the air? Um, there's a few websites, or several websites, where you can put in your zip code or your exact address, and it'll tell you what you could probably get, um, and I'm gonna. channelmaster.com and like I said I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have this sent out so you can you know you don't have to write this down unless you, unless you want to scroll down here and you can put in um, your zip what's your zipper down here four three two four three two nine three is that right yeah. we're talking nine three two zero I'm in the wrong place anyway This one is, it not only shows what channels you can get, so it says you can get a total of 38 channels. Now, are you going to get all those channels? Like, like uh, Donald said, if you're in the valley, you may not get those. If you're up in the top of the hill, you may even get more than that. So it depends on a lot of different factors. 
Now, if we scroll down here, we'll see. So we've got our, our public stations. And I want you to see something here. It says 45.1, 45.2. That's because they're digital. There's multiple channels that are in that signal, that 45. And if you have any modern TV that you bought in the last probably almost 10 years, it'll be able to figure that out. Um, what you have to do is once you hook up your antenna, you tell the your, in your settings of your TV, you'll tell it to search. And it'll go out and it'll take that signal and look for all the channels that you find. Um, so we've got multiple uh, PBS, so public stations. We've got NBC, Fox, CBS, another Fox station, ION, so these are all, so you know, you, you potentially could get a lot of different stations. And if you notice too, there's this little thing right here. This is telling you what type of antenna you'll probably need to get these stations. And it says roof mounted antenna is probably needed. So um, you'll probably need a roof mounted antenna. But like I said, it depends on where you are too. If you're in a valley or on a hill. If you're on a hill, what I would do, go buy the cheap antenna that you can slap on your window. Just stay at the box for a seat. See what you get. You know, this gentleman over here, how many stations did you say you've got? And you're using the... Uh, we, use, we have eight PBS stations. We have all the 45s. And then uh, two KDA, seven out of Wyoming, nine out of Springville, uh, Pittsburgh stations. And we get the, the BTV and the uh, decades and all that. Other yeah. Stuff. So he, he's using a, a, um, a one that you just slap on your window. So you can try that out, and if he doesn't get what you need, then you can just take it back. streaming um, in order to stream things off the internet how much is, what bandwidth are you, are you going to need that's like how basically how fast is your internet connection I recommend at least six megabit um, you can maybe possibly get away with like a three megabit connection but you're only going to be able to do watch one thing like no one else is going to be able to be connected at a time uh, I have a 10 megabit connection that's the fastest I can get where I live um, if you like, if you have a slower connection, you know that might be an issue. Uh, types of connection: DSL versus cable versus fiber versus satellite. Um, cable and fiber are obviously faster than DSL, uh, but DSL still works. That's what I use. I have a 10 megabit connection, and basically everybody in the house is usually connected. And we very rarely have any issues with uh, watching videos. I mean, my kids, they do so much better with their videos. Because they'll, they'll listen to music. You know they listen to music? They turn on YouTube to listen to music. I'm like, why are you watching a video to listen to music? Well, that's where I can get it. Uh, you're you're spend, using so much more bandwidth than you need. Um, satellite internet. I've had friends that have satellite internet. And they usually end up a problem because they've got a cap on it, like a data cap. So at the end of the month, they've used too much. I don't know if that's changed. I don't know if anybody here has satellite internet. So I would not recommend. I would, if you can get DSL, cable, cable or fiber. Um, what about that little box that Verizon <coughs> offers that you can, I don't know. Yeah, I've heard that. That's using your phone. So that uh, takes your, yeah, it uses your, uh, your phone, your 4G, yeah, or 3G or 4G. Yeah, or so it's so expensive. And if you're going to stream like this, you're going to need a lot. Yeah, I, I would probably try to stay away from that. I would, I mean, probably your best bet, I mean, no, in, now, I don't know about outside of East Liverpool, but in East Liverpool, there's um, Comcast cable. If you can get that, that's probably the way to go. Uh, what? Well, but you, no, I heard you earlier talk, 
talking about the combo packs. Yeah. Tell them, tell them yeah. you just want internet. And say what do they say. I'll bet you're going to end up. Uh, Jordan, Jordan said he spends like 40 bucks a month. Yeah, I have that. So instead of 45, you're paying 35, but then you're also paying for satellite TV. So you can pay $35 a month. Well, I have like home phones, so that's another, like, I have, because we don't get cell phone service or anything. Uh, so it's like. Yeah, ask, ask them what it is. Ask them, say, I just want, I just want the internet, and I just want my phone. That's what they said. And then what's the speed on the internet that you said? You want at least six megabit. I would I would say the preferred is ten or higher. Really? The box that's like the advertising. And it hooks right into your Yeah, there's some one of my friends got his kind of home. What's it called? He called it like that Jack something. Magic Jack. Oh Magic Jack. Yeah, that's over your internet. And you can do your phone over your internet. Uh, the thing that you have to make sure is you have to make sure you can do the 911. That's that's my wife was my wife won't let me get rid of the the uh, landline because she's worried about 911 for the kids. So you have to if you're, if you're, there's several different uh, phone over the internet packages. You just have to make sure you can one is cost cost effective and two if, you know, I would want to be able my kids to be able to do 911 or me you know. Um, internet streaming devices. Now, if you look up here, this is what we'll be looking at later. This is an Amazon Fire TV. This is the physical box that I stream everything through. Um, and this is just talking about a few of these. All these systems up here are good. You're not going to go wrong. Um, some are better for, than others for different reasons. Uh, the Google Chromecast, um, that one is basically a, a it, take what's on your phone. If you, if you look at a lot of stuff on your phone or your tablet, it'll let you take that content and put it on the TV. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't talk about the smart TV. If you have a smart TV, there's nothing wrong with smart TV. The only issue I have with smart TV, a smart TV is something that has streaming capability built into it. But the problem that I see is, like me, I don't buy new TVs very often. I might go, I, I'm going to watch a TV until it dies or something fantastic comes out that I have to upgrade it. So if you, you know, if these streaming devices are probably every maybe three years, there might be something new and different, you're gonna to wanna to upgrade it. But if it's all built into your TV, then you have to upgrade your TV. So if your smart TV works and does what you need, that's fine. But then instead of getting a whole new TV next time to upgrade, you could get a separate box, like this Fire TV box that I'm talking about. Um, I don't think you have to, but I don't know. It would. It, I wouldn't buy Fire TV unless you are Amazon Prime. That's basically what I'll tell you of that. Yeah, I would buy something like the Roku. You don't have to be a member of anything if you use the Roku. It has the most content out of all of them. It's got a very boring and drab um, menu system. Some people don't like that, but you can get tons of content from a Roku. Uh, the, the Chromecast, like I was talking about, that's for if you just want to take what's on your tablet and put it on your TV. The Fire TV Stick is a tiny version of the, uh, the Fire TV. Um, and that's something you probably use maybe if you had a second um, TV in the basement or something that you wanted. To, it's only like 40 bucks. I think it's 39 actually. Fire TV is 100. The new version of it will do the, the uh, what's it, the 4K radio, which there's no 4K content out. So that's, I consider that ir irrelevant. Um, the Apple TV, if you are invested in Apple, if you have an iTunes account and you have an iPhone and an iPad, and if you use that, then I would get the, the Apple TV. I actually, I use the Apple TV. You like I'm it? I don't really need it to know all that stuff. I only do Netflix with it. Uh -huh. And then once in a while, I'll go on some of the other channels, and, and you can watch all the news channels, but it's like 
the day after. Yeah. It's not the day of. And uh, a lot of these shows are like that. You can't watch it when it's you know, when it's on live, you watch it later. I've been pretty happy with it. I bought the cheaper version and we can buy that up three to that one. Well, there's a way on Roku you can watch the stuff that's on live, or you can watch the stuff that's the next day, and we'll talk about that too. Because what we're going to talk about is there's the physical device that you're going to get that's going to connect you to the internet and stream, and then there's programs that you can put on top of that. Now, using these programs, you're going to pay some type of monthly fee, and you can get different kinds of content with those programs. Uh, and, and most of these, these devices will, will, will use most of the different programs. Yeah, in Teta you can watch you can watch the stuff that's live, um, or you can like Hulu. We'll talk about Hulu. You can watch it the next day whenever you want. I'm going to show you a chart, and we're not going to go through all the chart because it's just we got this commercial that I'm going to have to stop in a second. But um, and we'll send this out to you. This this chart kind of goes through all the content, and I'm not going to go through every single thing. But you can see, so here's our like the new Apple TV, old Apple TV, Roku, Fire TV, Comcast, and Android, and you'll see just tons and tons of stuff you can get access to now. There's some caveats here that they're not telling you um, right when you look at this. For example, uh, like stars, yes, you can get stars uh, on the Apple TV, but you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay a monthly fee probably for stars, I'm pretty sure. Um, and a lot of these channels here, Disney and Discovery and stuff like that, you can get it on there, but that's assuming you have a um, a code from one of the satellite companies, which we're trying to get rid of. We don't want to do that anyway, so why would you do that? Um, so it's, it's a little deceiving, this chart. I'm not going to go through all of it because we'll be here forever. Because it's just good. This is showing you the breadth of how much, how many things you can watch. Okay. Um, so you're saying you've got the inside plank. Yes. And I noticed on that call, it said, yes, you can get CNN, yes, you can get Fox News, yes, you can get some others that are not paid for them. You can get that on Prime for free. You get I don't know. Just because it's on there doesn't mean it's it's for free. Um, I, I don't think CNN is on Prime. Um, I can try to look that up. But what I want to talk about is this is, these are different categories of, so before we were talking about the physical device, Pretty much all of them do HD video to your TV, very high quality. But there's then there's packages you can buy, and this is where you can spend money uh, per month, uh, live streaming or on-demand streaming. Um, live streaming means it's just like the TV. When you watch TV, you turn it on, you select your channel, you're watching it now, unless you have like a DVR, but you're, you're watching. So that's where you, you can see your CNN, um, things like that will be on the, the live TV. Um, on demand streaming is kind of like if you're used to a DVR, like I use Hulu a lot. So the next day after a program is out, usually you can see it on Hulu. I can watch it whenever I want. I don't have to watch it when it came on. Um, like we're watching uh, the series Gentrified right now, my wife and I. That ended um, like a, over a year ago, but I'm watching you know season two of Gentrified. You know, only after the kids are dead, we just stream it whenever we want. So this is Slim TV. So with, and I, I highlighted in red the sports stuff um, because the guys are always going crazy and they don't get their, they're worried about getting their sports channel. So if you have um, an Amazon TV or a Roku or some device, or even maybe possibly integrated with smart TV, you could pay 20 bucks a month, and you see that package in the top there? There's CNN. You can watch your live CNN, you can watch your ESPN, uh, Home Garden TV, Travel Channel. So that would be an, actually a nice package. For 20 bucks a month, you can watch all that content plus whatever you get on your antenna. 
And, and that would be, you know, that'd be pretty sweet. So for this though, what do you have to buy to get plain television? You, you have to have some type of set top like box. Like a Roku? Like, like a Roku, exactly. Okay. You could get a Roku, um, you could get a Fire TV, if you're a Prime member, either one of those, you can put the Sling TV on. It's right on there too. You just click on it and it'll it'll install. It has to have high speed internet. You have to have high speed internet for this. Yeah, this is dependent on high speed internet. Okay. Um, so then there's extras and the price goes up. For five dollars extra, you can get the sports package, which I just, I'm not a big sports freak, so I don't know what all these are, but then you can get the Disney thing. So then there's a cumulative. So if you you get the base package and then it's kind of like pseudo a la carte. So that's the, the Sling TV. Uh, this is PlayStation View. Um, and you'll see at the top here it says runs on PlayStation and Amazon and um, iPad. I'll bet it runs on Roku. I'll also check on that. I know this con my friend has one PlayStation One Roku? Okay. Does he like it? She does, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, so this is another um, streaming. You do this instead of the last one. Um, and I know it's hard to see all this content because um, I just kind of copied it down. Uh, but I, I will send this out to you so you can look at everything. And the base package, we talked about CNN. I see it on there. Comedy Channel, um, Fox Sports, ESPN 1 and 2. This uh, is the setup. Uh, Roku, or no. no, this is the Sling TV. Correct, correct. I mean, you could pay, you could have both of them if you wanted, but you'd have a lot of overlap, <laughs> and you'd be paying extra money. If I have a PlayStation 3, I want to use my Roku to have this. Yes, you are correct. High-speed internet and your PlayStation 3, and you're good to go. Hey, with the like CBS. Yeah, I don't know the end. I think there's, I saw that there's some, they do have some kind of regional thing, but I don't know how small it is. Like, you know, it might be giant chunks of the country. I don't know the exact answer to that, but I think it, they do tie it to some pseudo local station. So I don't know if it'll be Pittsburgh, Cleveland, or it might be. Yeah. 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 Okay, so now we're on, these are Amazon Prime, this is on demand. So the, this is content, and I, you can go on, on the internet and look, look at the content. Amazon Prime, um, if you're a Prime member, I'm a Prime member, I was a Prime member before I even started using the streaming, and it was because my daughter, there's a lot of medical supplies that I have to order online, so it just made sense because I get free shipping from Amazon. Um, Two-day shipping, um, and I can back up all my pictures and media. There's a, there's a lot of advantages that are, have nothing to do with streaming media from, from Amazon Prime. So if, if you are a Prime member, I would say that your best bet is to get uh, the Fire TV because they'll give you a lot of movies um, and TV shows for, for free. Now some of the content <coughs> then, you can also pay per view also. So you pay the $99 a year? Correct. You have the high speed internet, mm -hmm. and then you buy this Amazon Prime. <laughs> well, the, the $99 a year is for, ah. that's Amazon Prime, that's okay. a subscription, and that gives you free two day shipping on all Amazon Prime things, you know, physical objects. Right. Um, and it gives you access to a whole bunch of music and uh, movies, not all movies, not, not all music, because they obviously want to make money. Um, and you can you can watch it on Android tablets, Roku. Um, it does work well with the Fire TV, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Netflix. Uh, everybody knows about Netflix. I have the Amazon Prime account. Yeah, and I think I've been able to watch stuff through a, a Blu-ray. Would I have to purchase the Fire TV? You don't have to, no. Because I'm already getting that content. Yeah. Right? Yes, correct. Correct. 
Now, but the, when I say that the, the Fire TV will watch it, you can watch other things too, though. But like that Sling TV, if, if you can't do that, if you can't do Sling TV on your Blu-ray player, then you might want to buy something like that. Okay. So if, if you wanted that Sling TV or the, the other one. On uh, Netflix, it's um, movies and, and TV. This is kind of their little thing they say. Um, your basic subscription, seven or eight bucks a month or 10. And you kind of apologize, can't really see that. So Ultra HD, that's a 4K or HD. I don't know, actually, I don't know what Ultra HD is. That might not be the 4K. I don't know what they're trying. Well, I guess that would be, yeah, 4K right there. Um, you can watch on your, your TV, your phone. Now, Netflix, you can watch Netflix on a Roku device. You can watch Netflix on a uh, Amazon Fire device. You can watch Netflix on your tablet, on your PC. Now, Hulu, Hulu is another program. I, I use Hulu, I spend the $12 a month, um, and it's basically for TV. Because when I first started doing this, I found myself, my kid wanted to watch different TV programs that I was not able to get. So I would be going out to other nefarious sources to get my TV content. And I thought, you know, this isn't ethical. I don't want my kids to think I'm a pirate. So I said, okay, I'm gonna break down. I'm gonna spend 12 bucks a month. Um, and that's what they use for most of the TV. And they watch it on demand whenever they want. It's got, it does have movies, but not as much as Netflix. Who has more TV content? Netflix has more movie content. Both those different um, streaming programs have their own original content too. And they're actually spending a lot, billions of dollars developing content because they want to make movies and TV programs and go directly to you instead of going to the movie theaters. So they're not just competing with the cable, they're competing with the actual, you know, the movie companies. Okay. You're gonna have a nephew that's gonna come over and he's gonna say, you know, Bob, I can get you everything you want for absolutely nothing. And we're gonna talk about what's legal, what do I consider a gray area, kind of unethical, and what's illegal. And the basic law is if someone downloads something, a movie, and you can watch it with your internet not connected, it's illegal. And if they say, well, you have it on VHS, that doesn't make it any more legal than you have a copy of it locally. So in this little chart I have, we can see that we've got over here Hulu and Netflix, all the content if you have, if you're paying for your subscription like 10 bucks a month for Hulu or Netflix, all that content on there is legal to watch. You notice YouTube I have a little bit in this kind of gray area and that's because YouTube content is actually uploaded by us, by anybody. And there's lots of illegal content on YouTube. Now if you watch that illegal content, that doesn't mean you're breaking the law. That just means it's kind of somewhat unethical. And YouTube goes through and they have people and machines, not machines, but people and computer programs that find when someone puts Top Gun on YouTube um, and they delete that content. Uh, so it's not only movies. So that's why I kind of have that gray area. You'll see this new thing here called Cody. Cody is a very interesting program. Uh, Cody is a, is a program, it's free, and it's open source. You can load it on a computer, you can load it on your Fire TV, you can load it on a Roku, all kinds of devices. And Roku can be used to watch totally legal content and it has totally legal channels on it, like Home Garden Network, not everything on the Home Garden TV network, but some of it. So it has totally legal stuff, but it also has be used to watch illegal stuff. Um, content that has been downloaded by, for example, you see Pirate Bay over here, and this is another torrent. If you hear anything about torrents, that's when you, you, you take a movie, you download it to your device, and then you watch it. Um, those are pretty much all illegal. <laughs> uh, there's also the put locker in here. That's another thing where you're, this gray area is for, if you're streaming content, if you're streaming content that's illegal, technically, that's not illegal for you to do, but it's unethical because you're watching content that was illegally obtained. Um, the only reason it's not illegal is because it's 
not on your computer. It's not downloaded and then watched. So that's why I'm not going to go into these things over here on the right about how to do those things. I'm not even going to talk about how to set up Kobe. Um, if you want to do go into that side, kind of the dark side over here, that's your choice. <laughs> Uh, and the last thing was, is physical media. And some people just don't have a high-speed internet connection. So you can go to the library and get lots of free DVDs. I don't know about this one over here, what they have, but I know um, where I live, the local library has a lot of stuff that's on DVD or... or they have a big collection. Of they? Okay, yeah. Um, and then Redbox, a lot of times that, that, that uh, your that Giant Eagles or Kroger's, you'll have a Redbox where you can rent something for a dollar. Um, and then Netflix, you can get Netflix, you know, before you leave here or your work and spend five minutes and order up your stuff and we'll be there. Um, and, you know, I kind of got a little bit of nostalgia. Some people like, like Jordan, if I don't remember it, but I used to go with my mom. We'd go to the, 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 go to the get VHS tapes and we'd go and look at all the different tapes and what they had. Oh, is that in or out? And, you know, we don't do that anymore. You know, you can't go to the... Does it get so many other videos? There's one in Calcutta. Yeah, we don't, we don't have, where I live, we don't have any more at all. Okay. Um, before I do this uh, Fire TV demo, uh, do we have any questions? Roku has a one time cost in the box. Yes. yes. And then, there, then there's no monthly update. There's no monthly. There's a lot of content you can get for free. Um, then you can also add on to like that Sling TV, which is the service you pay. It's kind of programmed in Roku. It's kind of like you have your computer and you have Microsoft Word on it. Well, consider the Sling TV would be a program on, on your computer in Roku, or Hulu is another example, or Netflix. Yeah. If you have multiple TVs or multiple cores in your house, yeah. you can... You'd have to get a device. device. No, you have to get... You have to get um, a device for each one. Um, there's the, uh, the Fire TV stick. It's a cheaper Fire TV. It's like this big. Um, you can plug it in the side. This, this big. <laughs> it looks. It's, it's like half the size of this. It kind of looks like a um, flash drive. Yeah, it's like a big flash drive is what it is. And it comes with a remote control, so you get. It, it's kind of it's a little bit bigger than this. Um, there's a couple other that are like that. But then if you want your local antenna, you'd have to run a, a coax cable from a, 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 a splitter. You'd have to have your antenna splitter each to be to your local station. In my house, we only have it. The antenna, I only have a rent. I could run it too, but I only have a run of my main TV. And then the other one in the basement that I need to hook up to a computer. Yes. So you said one of the other channels? Yes. Yep. And I tell you what, and I will, I, I almost brought my TV down here, but I didn't at the last minute because the the quality of the picture on the HD channels, like all the local news channels, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. And I just have that little $40 antenna on my right now. Now, sometimes my Cleveland station, I don't know, if it's some errant cloud or something won't cut in. So then I, I you know, it's NBC, so I, I switched to another uh, Youngstown NBC channel. So. But besides that, it's great. Can I have a question about Donald's antenna? <coughs> Donald, are you using that like hippie antenna? Is that what you're using? No, I, I have friends that have. Okay. They Perfect. work great. And it's, from my experience, it depends on where you're at. Because if you use the antenna like he's using, do you think you get more channels? Or is that what you're using? No, I mean, my friends that use it, they were getting 20 plus channels. Well, I guess I'm asking you because I think you live by me, and I was wondering if I got the outdoor channel or outdoor antenna. If I'd I didn't have luck. Okay. I didn't either. No. Not at all. Where, where I live, you don't either. Your antenna would have to be about 50 feet tall. So you're down a valley. Down in a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. Where I live, everything just flat. We're flat. Down in a bowl. Oh, so. We we were just over the moon when we got cable out there. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> years ago. Yeah, I, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah. Unless you put it in a giant tower. Brian Hi. Hall up at, at Salem, his dad is in that ham radio. And he's, he's like 
almost 70 years old. He showed me a picture the other day. He was up on like a 75 foot and uh, tower he's out of his house. Well, I, I will say, ITV is is not new. It's still got the huge back on it. Uh -huh. And I we just run it through our wireless, uh, you know, through the computer. So it's not <coughs> close to the computer. And it works fine. Mm -hmm. you know, and there's plenty of free stuff on there. Yeah, yeah, there's lots, lots the of free The only thing company. extra I think that I pay for is Netflix. Mm -hmm. It is so a even on an old that. TV, you can still hook your Roku up. And my husband was like, Clayton, when it breaks, then we'll upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all my friends, all my brother-in-laws and brothers, they, they went out and they they all got, when they first started the HD, HD content, they all went and they bought new TVs. And they spent like 1500 They're like, look, I got this for only $1,500. Thousand dollars for a TV. I waited two more years, and the one I have now is a 50 inch screen. I got it at Walmart. It's the same one as we have out there. That Spectra, I said 300 or 250 dollars for a 50 inch HD screen. Well, I'm, I'm cheap. Speaking of TVs, um, is there any value to the curves? I mean, do you think that's worth the extra investment? I really don't know. I really don't know. For, for me, I'll say that the room that we watch. tries to, first of all, it tries to push things from Amazon. It wants you to watch Amazon content. Um, second of all, it doesn't, you can't really tell it where to put certain things. It kind of rearranges them based on what you've seen. Now, you see, where it says recent, and that's just earlier I searched on Gary Busey, so now I have this on there. Um, videos, oh, this is what I want to show you, it's kind of neat. This is content that's actually my content that I back up to the Amazon cloud, um, just in case my house burns down and my pictures are gone. I include it with Amazon Prime, you can back up unlimited photos, you have to pay extra for videos. So. Um, and then they, here, now this is a station, this is Hulu, which we'll, we'll look at in a second here. So this is a, the only premium service I pay for. I pay for Hulu and I can watch it from my Amazon TV. Here's some other movies. Uh, here's YouTube. You can watch content from YouTube. Back to my home. Yeah, my kid, all kinds of stuff I do with my kids and everything. Sure. Sure. <laughs> oh, my, my daughter has watched yeah. every Doctor no, Quinn. Well, and sure. <laughs> She's back around the second round. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Sorry. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and this, this is all stuff that Amazon made <coughs> itself, that, the content that they made. I'm trying to see if any of this you can watch. It's not acceptable. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look. So, and there's also a voice search. So if I hit this button here, Gary Busey. It's going to go out and it's going to find content that features Gary Busey. 
And so we have this, uh, so here's a movie, Suspicious. Is they mine? I can't really see it. And this projector is not the best projector, but if you notice now it says watch with Prime, that means I can watch it for free. There's probably content in here that I would have to pay money for. And it would, it would ask you, oh, what the heck is that? So there's all kinds of stuff in here. So like any of the ones that don't pay watch, you would have to pay for? Yeah. Maybe. That's the one. See, like Diamond says, watch trailer, so you can watch the trailer, but you can't watch the movie. Probably. Let's see what happens right here. Now, okay, so this is an example of content on Amazon that you do not get with Prime. If you want to watch it, you have to rent it. So it's four bucks to rent. <clears throat> now, that doesn't mean there's just other ways to get it. I hit more ways to watch. Uh, it's still all Amazon stuff, but I could also, if I have another movie service like Netflix, I can watch Netflix content on here too. Like if I go over to Hulu, if when I click this, I'm going to be starting another program, Hulu, and that's a whole another realm of content. And actually, this brings up something I want to talk about too, and that's um, ratings like rated R or whatever. They don't have, there's no rated X that's going to be on Amazon, not yet. Um, <laughs> So I'm disappointed. <laughs> the Fire TV, you can set a parental thing on so like rated R stuff won't come up. But when I go to Hulu, that's a separate program. So you have to see if Hulu has something for that as well. So it's kind of that's kind of like a still a bad area with this internet streaming. It's not inclusive. Because if I go to Hulu, that's a totally different program. If I go to YouTube, it's a totally different program. Look at Hulu. Hmm. I'll see what my kids have been watching on Google. <laughs> so, so here's watch list. Yeah, I caught my daughter watching Stream Stream Queens the other day. I talked to her about that. Dancing with the Stars. Um, these are things that we've watched recently. <clears throat> the Beatles, the Five Big Sharks, or something. So if we want to watch and you so notice that little green dot, that means it's the new content there. Uh, resume episode about something. I click this, we'll see how fast it goes. It works. Well, of course it's gonna never never do something live. This time on Dr. K's exciting So now we're watching it. Hulu program. A middle-aged macaw has a painful eye problem. I can just pause, I can fast forward. Obviously, I can watch this whenever I want. Now, current episodes, like like it's the Empire, that just premiered last night. Will it be on there forever and ever, or will they take that off? They will take it off, but it's usually like years. Oh, okay. Not so, like, the stuff that's, like, appearing will be on there, like, for the whole season, at least? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, like I said, I'm watching Justified, and I'm in, like, the second to last season, but I think it was over, over a year ago. Because I, I, I tried Hulu, and it was a few years ago. Uh-huh. And, like, they would have a show on there, but it would only be on there for a couple of weeks. Uh-huh. And then they would, like, put the, the newer episodes would like replace them. So there were only like two to three episodes of, of like the newer stuff I, at a time. Was there, I think but I it was a while ago, like I, I said, I, I had tried Hulu since. Yeah. When I first tried Hulu, you didn't pay, you got it free. Yes. And then and I ran into that problem. Okay. But oh, like I said, it's been a while. if you subscribe to it, then you have access to their content. Because I have Netflix now, and I know that's all old stuff, but they put like the whole season on mm-hmm. at a time. And so you, you, know, you can watch like all the last season a lot of shows. I think they warn you now. I think there's still been, like I know with Netflix especially, they will tell you that this show is only going to be available until date, whatever that date is. I don't know about who. Let's see if we can get a video of my house. So this is stuff I backed up to Amazon. Me talking to ducks. So <laughs> walls. <laughs> so 
it up to the bottom. Okay. Do the ducks have names? <laughs> As Earl Moss. Oh. <laughs> of course. I don't want to be Gary Busey. I don't know. Uh, photos, you can back up your photos. You can actually set it up on your phone to automatically back whatever you take a picture of, which you gotta be careful with. Take a picture of. No, you can <laughs> You can get the user, there's an app you can download on your phone and it'll back it all up over the cloud. Or you can manually do it at home. There's an app you can put in your computer if you have pictures on your computer and it'll back them up. And what's cool too about this is you can go down to I go to favorites, so things that I've put in favorites, um, when my um, my son, he's 14 now. Um, <clears throat> when my um, Amazon TV, when it kind of like did pause and it does that, it's, it's screensaver will become those pictures oh. if you want. So, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Hmm. So I had some, my, two of my kids, my, their grandparents, and Ryan and Glenn. <laughs> There's Emily and Ryan. <laughs> it's my parents a long time ago. My grandpa. So, um, and like if I wanted actually right down here to see featured games and apps, I could click Netflix right now, answer a couple questions, and I'd have Netflix on my Fire TV. I don't use Netflix, I use Hulu. I might switch to Netflix at some time. That's how easy it is. Oh, there's a sling. We're talking about sling. Um, you can get sling right there. And you know, go through a couple steps. The PlayStation one, can you purchase that through the Fire uh, TV or Probably. Um, no, it's not Fire TV. Okay. I think we, you can do it with Fire TV. Um, I, think, I thought I had my slide when it was on. Let me see if I have it. I think it's $100. Yeah, so they call it that. It's the same with Apple TV, though, with the device. Okay. Not the PlayStation. It's like on here. Amazon Fire TV and Amazon. I'm going to see something through the voice search. Right. Not too much to choose. PlayStation View. I just, I have trouble with having them. Yeah. So I can click on that right now and get the PlayStation View. How much is that for us? Basic package is $39. And that gets you a whole bunch of content. You can look at that. I know it's a little bit confusing, but there's. So if you wanted to Google and see what all is out there, what would you do? Streaming services. Streaming. Yeah, that's a good streaming services. That would get it. So that way you can go on and look at all the ones, see the prices, and what channels yes. they provide. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna need to get some kind of physical device, whether it's a smart TV or the Fire TV or the Roku, and then or PlayStation, and then what I, I tried before. Anything, try that out and see what it has for free. Because there's a lot of free content. And then after that, subscribe if you're missing something. And most of them will let you do like a month or seven days or something free too. Uh, you can see and if you, you know, then if you don't like it, you might pay for it. But at least you get to try it. Email. Email, you can sign up. 
what did you sign up for? The Amazon account. Amazon Prime. Yeah. Amazon Prime. You get it's for fifty dollars instead of a hundred. Amazon Amazon yeah. Studio. Yeah, Amazon Studio. Yeah. 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 I'm going to look and see if there's any downside to that or not. And I'll log in. Um, this is that coding system. So, describe this again. This is not it's legal, but we're not uploading the content. It's kind of scary that you basically buy anything. I'll show you. This, now, this family, these. Stations down here are totally from where they're from. It's yeah, totally it. illegal. I, I, I have this Exodus thing here. I can go um, to TV shows, and I'll go to the most popular. And any of this content, I can just like stream, and I'm not going to do it here. <laughs> so you're streaming this content. It's not downloaded. It's not downloaded, but I can watch it right now. Any of it. Wow. But that is kind of the gray area is a lot. Most of these sources are probably yeah. illegal. Yeah. And they're, I mean, they're probably not paying for that content. But because you're never not downloading on your PC. Sorry. Okay, so you go get out of that. You say you can literally watch any you talking about like whatever they got on that system. It's not Cody, it's going out on the internet and oh, it's, it's finding it's 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 stuff. Okay. And you so you can work so movie. I just try to think of year. No, I'm going to make a couple more coffee surveys. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. My wife is the member of Amazon Prime. Yeah. And we bought the this stick. Yes. sure you can use on multiple devices. Can you use combine? I know she can buy some of the 20 cents and she can free but oh, yeah. buy some for 49 dollars. No, yeah, you, you she can I definitely do that. There's a um, other than that for order. There's a thing on Amazon in her thank you. In her prime membership, there's a thing where she can give give to your account as well. She can definitely her spouse, yeah. She yeah, we have separate she's got an Amazon credit card in there and I've got to use a different credit card when I order from them because I mean we're, we're separate. So I'm not you find myself ordering three dollars worth of stuff I don't even want. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah she can definitely. Out. There's a, there's definitely a way in there that she in her account that she can give you access, and you don't have to pay another hundred dollars. Because I know my parents, my parents, they did the free shipping on their meal. Okay. So. Yeah, there's like a designation tab or some shit. Click on the box, like input your name or something like that. That I know. I've seen that. Before. And you said. I probably just need to research um, to find out if I can get HGTV and all of that. Yeah, yeah, you can, if you have, well, 
the other switch. Now, if you have that view 